What up, everybody? It's your boy, DG the Chef, the one and only, the only one, the strongest Twitch streamer. And we are back again today with something a, a little new. So I wasn't supposed to stream today. I wasn't supposed to make any content today. But today has been in Insane. Today I'm going to hit you with everything that's been happening on this Friday in Madden Ultimate Team, in Madden, in EA Sports, in College Gaming, everything. So stay tuned. I think you're going to like this one. Okay guys, so I'm literally sitting at my desk like all this can't be happening today. I just want to go home and take a nap. We got some people going at EA Sports. We got some people defending EA Sports. We got some people just pissed off in general. We got a new Madden Ultimate Team 10 years challenge. Um, we got a new player coming out. We got a new college game day. Not the actual college game day game, but a new college game today. Had to clear that up. So we're gonna go over all that in this particular video. So I hope that you enjoy it. This is something a little different away from the tutorials, away from the blitzes, away from challenges, all that. This is just going to be news. Everything that's happened today. So first things first, let's talk about this new college game. We have all been excited about college football. I think we all loved what the NCAA was. We just didn't really like how illegal it was. It was very illegal. So with that being said, for years, people have been trying to figure out how to make a college football game without using player likeliness. So, Maximum Gaming has teamed up with Doug Flutie to present the Doug Flutie Maximum Football 2019. Doug Flutie in his college years is on the cover and I believe that you can play with him. If you guys are gonna be downloading this game and playing it just to get you a little taste of what college football in a video game may be, let me know, hit me up, let me know if you like it. I'm actually thinking about downloading it and giving you guys some gameplay. If we get maybe 25 likes on this game, I'll go ahead and download it and show you guys if it's worth the actual money. This came from a three developer um, shop and I am a developer on my day job. So I'm actually kind of intrigued to see what they were able to pull off and to see if they were able to bring that college football NCAA experience back to us on the video games. Okay, next. We all know that Madden has been dropping this promo 10 years a month and every Friday they've been releasing new players. At this point, it just seemed mundane because we kind of knew who was coming. I knew Julius Peppers was coming. I knew that Randy Moss was coming. We all know Dion is going to be here eventually. But this week, they have dropped a free safety. That's right. They finally dropped the free safety, and it is Sean Taylor. You see that's a lie. Hold up. What do you mean? It's not Sean Taylor. It's, what do you mean it's not Sean Taylor? I mean it's not Sean Taylor. It's, it's Calvin Johnson. Are you serious? They finally dropped a new car today, and it's a free safety. It's Calvin Johnson. That's right. The six foot five, four three five forty time receiver, Calvin Johnson. You can now get him on your Madden Ultimate team as a free safety. He's the same overall as Brian Dawkins, one of the greatest free safeties to ever play this game. Calvin Johnson not only can go both ways, but he can also tackle, jump, catch, everything you need out of a dominant free safety. Go get that Calvin Johnson car and let me know how you like it. Okay, now that we got that out the way, um, let's get a little intimate here. I'm gonna get a little closer to you guys. There seems to have been a little bit of beef, and I'm pulling it up right now. There seems to have been a little bit of beef going on. I won't say beef. Let's let's we, we won't call it beef, right? Um, I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera because I'm trying to actually pull it up. We won't we won't call it beef. What we'll actually call it a little bit of frustration. Madden just came out, they've been doing multiple patches, a lot of people don't like the decisions that they have made for this game. I wasn't around when the announcements were coming out, like you, you guys know my story, I took a year off from Madden because I was so frustrated a year ago at the game, I just thought it was trash. So I took the year off and now I'm back, that's my story though, but it seemed like everyone else was just as frustrated now as I was then. Let me know how you feel in the comments, are you still frustrated, do you feel like this game is trash, like what? What do you think? But it seems like your boy Savage, and that's actually his name, your boy Savage, is pissed off. And he released this video on, on Twitter the other day, and it's about a one minute video. And he is just going off, guys, mainly at EA, okay? The video has reached at now 23,000 views. And maybe it's just some people walking over and over because some of the stuff he's saying is kind of true. But it has reached 23,000 views and is getting the attention of EA 
developers are getting the attention of EA Sports in general because he's such a big influencer in the community. And some people like J Dub are trying to express your boy Savage's responsibility as an influencer in the community. But your boy Savage seems like he just wants a really good game to play. Um, he's even gone as far as listing off the past five, six, seven years of Madden that's just been trash. But at the same time, if the game is so trash, why do we continue to play this game? Why do we continue to buy cards? Why do we continue to support the game? If it's bad, why don't we just stop? Because it's a machine and we can't stop playing the machine because we love American football and EA Sports knows that. Anyway, let's take a look at this video really quick. <laughs> be said a long time ago but i'm sure the people that wanted to say something didn't want to step on the toes of anybody at ea and potentially ruin their relationship with ea but i have a huge sack so i really do not care madden 20 sucks madden 20 is the worst madden i've played madden 20 is hands down the worst madden we've had in the past five years and we had to live through 16 17 18 and 19 and now we're stuck with this for the next what 10 months the reason that i am just so fed up is because i don't see it getting any better and the reason I don't see it getting any better is because regardless of skill level, whether you're a casual, whether you're a competitive player, everybody in the spectrum has said that they hate how good the run game is. It is actually to the point where you can actually win a game of Madden without passing one time. Zero passing yards, you can win a game. In what world does that simulate football? Come on, do y'all not see this? Do you guys at EA not see this? Do you not see this? That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. And the funniest thing is, ready? Check this out. Yay, there's Run D in the game. But you have to have a certain person tackle that running back. If he doesn't have Enforcer, that running back is either going to truck you through the earth or he is going to juke you into the next stadium. And that is disgusting because there's Bruiser and Evasive and Enforcer. Listen to what I just said. How is that football? How is that football? Are you kidding me? That's where we're at now? Because if this is the future of Madden, I'm just letting you know, man, it's, it's going to be a really dark future. Because this ain't it. This really isn't it. No one likes this stuff. You are literally at a disadvantage if you pass the ball. Check it out. I was going to go ahead and upload a challenge video today where I wanted to go ahead and pass the ball every single play. Because you don't see that anymore. So I had like a little funny, goofy, sarcastic challenge. Can I win a game of Madden passing the ball every play? I go ahead, I load into a game. This dude's running a stretch every play, of course. I mean, I expect it. So I come out, I'm passing. He's in 146. So I block his blitz, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter, though. Because when I hike the ball, yeah, I might have picked up his blitz, but his two super sonic mega god pass rushers are insta-shedding me in two seconds, and my receivers are running one mile an hour down the field on their routes. Game sucks. So as you can see, through here, J Dubs and your boy Savage are having a back and forth conversation on Twitter. I'm not really gonna go over everything, but you see here, he's saying you act like you're doing society a favor and you can kind of click on the thread and kind of see what's going on here. But I'm not really trying to hype up the drama. I'm really just trying to let you guys know that there are a lot of people who are upset at this game. And, it's, and this is the third week. The first week started with EA developers actually deleting their Twitter accounts because so many people were tweeting at them that this is such a bad game. And it's finally gotten to the breaking point where your boy Savage has spoken out on it and 23,000 people have watched this video. And it's just grown so much that everyone has seen it now. I've seen Reddit forums about it. And I just wanna know, hey Madden, if you don't really like all the negative stuff, then I, DG the Chef, have created a Reddit post just for you. It's called, what are the things that you love about Madden? It is right here. So if you need a little bit of positiveness in your day, check out my Reddit post and come let me know all the things that you actually enjoy about Madden or hit me up in my comments let me know the things that you enjoy about Madden as well. So that has been the news for this Friday. You can catch me tonight on stream. It is 9-27-2019. We're gonna be on stream tonight. I wasn't planning on it, but why the hell not? We're gonna be on stream tonight, streaming some weekend league. Holla at your boy, it's DJ the Chef. It's been love, it's always love. We out.